Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the effects window in Reaper. Now you probably already know this, but to add effects to tracks, you just go over here and click on this button to add effects to your track. But there's a quicker way of doing that. If you select the track and go to view, we can see right down here, we can choose the effects browser. But it can be done quicker by using the keystroke. Right here, Shift F. So we can click a track, hit Shift F, and add effects to that track. So that's a quicker way of adding effects to a track. But what if you want to see the effects that are already there? Like on this track, if we hit that same command, it opens up to add more instead of seeing what's already there. But if you want that function, we could just change a key command. Let's go to our actions. And if we type in effects, right down over here is that Shift F, show effects browser window. If we create a key command for this instead, view effects chain for current track, we can get a similar behavior that's even more useful. Let's add that same key command to this action instead. Right here, Shift F, and that replaces the other one. But watch what happens now. If we click on this track with no effects, hit Shift F, we get that same behavior. We can add effects to the track. But if we click on this track, which already has effects, and now it opens up to a plugin window. So if you prefer that behavior, just switch it in the actions. Right down over here. View effects chain for current track. But the default is to have it down here. So I'm going to put it back. So let's check out the effects window. If we open up this one, we can see all our effects right here and the parameters to the right. So we can go through them, choose them, and adjust them here. We could change the order of our plugins right from here, just drag them, move them around, and a bunch of other things if we right click over here. We could add more, replace, and so on. But you'll also notice if you choose a small plugin like this one, small in size, it only takes up this much room. If we choose a bigger one like this one, it extends so we can see it all. But if we jump back to a small one, we get all this blank space that we obviously don't need. We can reduce that by double clicking over here and it goes away. But if you want to reduce that automatically, we could change that in the preferences. Let's open up the preferences and scroll down to plugins. And right over here, by default, it's going to automatically resize the effects window to get bigger if we needed to. But we could also turn it on to get smaller if we needed to by choosing this, which is off by default. So if we choose that, now if we go to a bigger plugin, it gets bigger, and a smaller one gets smaller. So it saves a little more space when you're dealing with big plugins versus small ones. It constantly resizes to adjust. But again, this is off by default right here. But this one's on. Now, if you're concerned about the size on your screen, we can also float plugins just by double clicking them like this. And now we just see this plugin or the compressor or this EQ. So we get a small window to work with, which is also useful for seeing multiple at the same time. We could double click this one and put it below this one and see both of them or adjust both of them at the same time. That's the benefit of floating them. And we could also float them right from our track. If we right click the button, we could choose them directly from here, anything that's already on the track. So I can go to my EQ and it's gonna float just that effect. Or the compressor, or anything we choose. 
And if you don't want them to float, just hit the button and we go back to this window. Now, if we go to the mixer, we have an effects button right over here for each track. And we can do the same thing. We can select the track, hit Shift F to add effects, or view the effects if you change the action that we did before. But we could also float them the same way here by right clicking or going up to the top and clicking them here. These are automatically going to float when you select them one at a time. So if you want to float them, choose them here. Or if you want to see all of them, just choose them here. Now we could also dock that window. Let's open it back up on this track, Shift F. Let's right click right in this gray area and choose to dock it in the docker. And it shows up down here, which we can move over here or over here. But let's put it back over here on the bottom. So now we could choose it the same way. Click the track, hit Shift F, and choose our effects right from here. Let's add this one. And now that's added to this track. Or this one, Shift F. We can add this one right after these effects. And if you don't want to dock it, just go back and right click and undock it to create a separate window like this. And we could also add effects right in the items. Just choose them, hit Shift E, and we get the same dialog, but any effects we add are going to go right on the item. So now that effect is right here, which is separate from here. So we could have effects on the track and on the items, completely separately and used in different ways. And if you want to clear the effects, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, clear from here or from here. Now there's no effects on this track or the item. So that's pretty much it. That's the effects window in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.